So, <laughs> you might have noticed that we're uh, under construction. Uh, I have to be moved by September 1st. I think I, I think I'm, I think I have to turn in my keys on Monday. So I've gotten like everything. Eh, I've gotten kind of half of everything that's like boxes and loose shit the fuck out of here. And I have taken out everything that I'm throwing away, which uh, consisted of a lot, a fucking lot. So, yeah, I uh, apparently, I'm, I'm partially retarded. I got the apartment really fucking early, like months ago I called for this apartment. And then I was like, sweet, I'm locked up on that. And then I just kind of waited. And then it got to when I got my apartment, which was the 16th. So actually, that wound up being like the 19th. Because fuck around shit happened. And then that week kind of went. The rest of that week just kind of went. And I was like, all right, got the place. You know, the next week, start moving and everything. And good to go, right? Well, now it's like, I mean, this week is the fucking last week of the month. <laughs> so I'm like, oh sh shit. Um, so I've been, I called a place today to see if they would help me move. <laughs> and uh, they said they were going to try and fit me in. They were going to check the schedule and all that shit. And I'm like, well, that's cool. And if I don't hear back from them tomorrow, I'm going to call, like, every other mover in the area and see if they can fucking help me. And if they can't help me, then it's entirely possible I might be throwing away my bed, which, honestly, is fine. That bed is old, and I should probably get a new one anyways. But I will be throwing away my bed platform, which is fine, honestly, because the thing is fucking broken. I'm not gonna tell you how I broke it. I will just say that I haven't always slept alone in that bed. But the platform's broken. So, honestly, I really wouldn't mind throwing that away either. The only bad thing is, is I don't think I can get these big bookshelves in my car. The little bookshelves, I'm pretty sure I can get in the car. The big bookshelves, I don't think I can get in the car. So, I might, like, I might have to, like, stick them fucking, like, if I can lay down both of the seats, then stick them just as far into the car as I can, and then, like, rope that shit up. I don't know. And I don't know about the chairs. My chairs might also, I don't know, I might have to try and stick from those in the trunk and rope them up, too. I mean, I'm literally... I go down, I leave here, I go down the street, I take a right, and then I go past the fucking expressway, and then I take a right. There's my apartment. So, like, I'm not sweating if I have to fucking, you know, b b tie down or bungee cord or even just stick it in the fucking trunk and see if I can just roll. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I ain't worried too terribly much about it. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. If worse comes to worse, I get a new bed. Maybe a new couple of bookshelves. Honestly, I think the one has a little bit of water damage because fucking that other piece of shit place with legal. It's done. Um, and, and I might need to get some new chairs, but honestly, these chairs are like 20 years old. So I could probably, it probably would be a bad idea to get some new chairs. I might just move everything in my car and say, fuck it, instead of paying, you know, four or five hundred dollars to have somebody move all my shit for me, maybe I buy myself a new you know, hundred dollar chair and, 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 and a new couple hundred dollar bed. <laughs> and just say, fuck it, I'll just buy new shit. I don't know, whatever, fuck it. Anyways, so since I've spent so long talking about moving, I think I'll just make this the, the video where I go, fucking Tim Pool has made a video. 
he even used a big dumb picture of himself going this is to say I've seen what Trump wants to do <clears throat> let's do it voting voting Trump right so uh, I don't know do you want to say that that is the second seal of the apocalypse Kamala Harris was the first. I predicted that shit. I predicted that Tim Pool would sooner or later actually fucking molt and become that butterfly that he's been growing himself into. He's becoming a big red butterfly. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, that shit made me fucking laugh so hard. Um... I don't really know what else to talk about. I was just going to laugh about Tim, but I guess I can't really stretch that. And then I'm going to talk about me moving. Uh, this is not a very long video. Eh, fuck it. You guys always complain that I make videos that are too long. So there you go. <laughs>